So let's try to play this game against Castle Norlong. Is me who is offering the powers? Let's see. Mm. I think Dionysius versus Prometheus can be interesting. Mm. Let's try this one. Prometheus is better, I think. I'd like to try to defeat him with Dionysus. Dionysus goes first. Okay, my opponent picks Prometheus. Let me see. Hmm, 2300 games, 1500 victories. Okay. That's pretty good. I will start with my workers as central as possible and I will try to build in the corners. Because if, if I build towers in the corners, it is easier, it is harder for the opponent to. It is harder. For the opponent to to build in those squares. If it, what I mean, if is it if I build a, a tower in the in the corners, then is that is if that tower is all to myself, and then I can use my power. Here I will build here a level three. I think he will move up and just build that level 3, yes, so that I can use my power. I will move up as well and build here. My plan now is to build in A5 if possible. He wants to move up. Okay, I said I wanted to build in A5, but since he built in B3, I will build a level 2 over here so that he cannot move up next to me. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't see this move. But that's okay, I still have this move, which is more or less fine. So, as Dionysus, I think... I always have to look for opportunities to to build a level 3 where the opponent cannot build because if I control that level 3 like for example now if my opponent plays this I can build a level 3 in E1 and I know that I will build that dome whenever I want to but yeah and I will do it D4 worker is very dangerous up there. So now I have I have the opportunity to build this level three uh, this this dome in E1 whenever I want to. 
and basically my opponent can't do nothing while I while I have this option. So here I won't build the dome immediately. I will move up first and I will build here. Because now my opponent is probably uh, wondering when he, will he build the dome and Okay, so now if I don't build the dome, he might build it in the next turn. So it's probably a, a good time to build the dome and to... But I don't get a lot of compensation by doing that. So... I don't know if I should do it. But I mean, I think I have to. Otherwise, what will I play? Okay, I think... Eh. I mean, I will try this one. I don't know about this. Okay, he will probably build a new one. If he doesn't, I don't mind. Because I... I always have that option. Okay, so now... I probably should move up to B3, otherwise it will be very dangerous. Yeah, I will move up and build, I don't know, here, between here and D2 I don't see much difference. Dangerous. <clears throat> we'll move up and build in a five, maybe. I'm not sure about a five because then where will this worker move to? Okay, if I beat this. Okay, so he has this move. Ugh. Okay, but this allows me to centralize this weapon, so I will gladly do it. And I will build, I think, in C2, because C2 has the threat of me moving from B4 to C3 and building in C2 and winning. My opponent has to do something about this. Mm. But if he defends, if he moves from D4 to E3, mm. 
I have to move this worker. I don't know if I like this. Okay, I, I will do it. I'm expecting now the D4 worker to move to E3. Any threat he, he does in D5 or E5, I can defend it and by building that though my of his worker so I'm not worried about that by now so here uh, <coughs> yes I was expecting this now builds in okay I was expecting him to build in E2, but that's fine as well. Okay, so now... So now I'll do a tricky move. Oh no. Mm. Now he is threatening to move from e3 to d4 and build in d5. If I move this worker to a5 or to c5, I cannot defend that. So I have to be very careful here. I don't like any move. So I think I have to move this worker, but where? Okay, I will move this worker. <laughs> Over here, I guess. <laughs> now I can defend the threat on d5 with my b4 worker. The problem here was that I couldn't move my b4 worker. I mean, I could, but not to a5 or c5, which seemed the better, the best squares for him to be. Oh, I only have 11 seconds, I think a lot. <laughs> okay, so I think my what my opponent is trying to do is to build levels to all over the board. If he does that, then me moving his workers is not as, ex as effective as it would be if the board was unlevel, because then I cannot force them to hold, for example. Okay, so he builds in the corner. I think this gives me an opportunity. Or does it... Okay, so I have a very interesting move here, which is to go here and build on build in C2. 
and my idea is to move next to b4 and build in a5 but he can build first and then do this square but i think i can defend yeah any play any square he builds first i can defend it so i will just play this yeah as i expected he built first But now I can build here a dome and control one of his workers. Mm. Which will it be? I mean, the logical choice seems to move this worker to, to be four. And that's what I'll do. I will move it to B4 and build here so that he cannot move up. Okay. Now Prometheus can, I think, build in B4 with his D3 worker without worrying too much because that worker in C4, I think it would be safe up there. <clears throat> Let me zoom the board a little. <clears throat> so now the game is looking good for me. That worker on in B4, in B5. Oh, I said before earlier, I meant B5. Okay. Oh. I think he needed to move his level 2 worker. Because, or maybe, I don't know, it's a hard position. It's a tough position. Okay, so I will block with this work. I think there's not much to do here. I will build here. And now, is it worth moving? One of his workers, yes, I think it's worth moving this one. Or maybe it isn't. No, but I will. No, no, I won't. Um, yeah, I think I won't move his workers. Yeah, I won't move them. Now I am threatening to move from C3 to to d3 so he has to defend like this yes mm. okay so now i'm in a kind of a zugzwang <laughs> so I okay so I have an interesting move here which is to go here and build here if he doesn't block with his He has to block with this level 2 worker, otherwise I win in E5. Oh, he has this move. I always forget that he can do this. Okay, but now I think it is over. I build here. 
I do absolutely nothing. Yes. I don't move anyone. And now there's just no way for him to stop me from winning in E2, I think. first but he has to move so yeah okay interesting game the good thing about Unisys here is that the usual strategy for for Prometheus is to, to create a lot of threats and against Unisys it is hard to do this I will prepare